my friends so what do these numbers mean right what do these numbers mean when we look at all these numbers on here right I mean when we look up here whoops let me just uh, sorry when we look up here we can see that Donald Trump is at 214 and uh, Biden is at 253 and but when you look at this look at that it's almost all red now I'm not I'm not saying I'm for or against whatever that's not the point but I just want to show you that numbers are not always what they seem right so for you on social media if you're trying to build your brand online I mean obviously the po politicians they use they use social media they use uh, the actual media and newspaper magazines tvs radio and they use social media all the platforms to grow their audience and you're doing that too right you're trying to grow your audience on social media using strategies that are very similar to what these guys are doing right I mean it's all about it's all about numbers so we're going to talk about numbers and what numbers mean to you when you're building your brand online in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets so what do I mean by numbers now when we're talking about numbers on social media building your brand online we're talking about your views to your videos the impressions to your posts the 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 clicks on your posts all these things are the numbers that you can keep track of of how busy or how popular you are and all these things right and the thing that you got to be careful of is don't assume that because you don't have big numbers that it means that nobody's seeing you that nobody's following you that nobody's paying attention that nobody's noticing you and I want to show you that my numbers aren't that great but I still get some interesting conversations I get people reaching out to me I get some some people you know buying my stuff being interested in what I have to do and you can do the same too so we're going to go and show you right here I'm actually going to uh, look up uh, well let's go to Facebook let's start with Facebook I'm going to start with Facebook let's show you Facebook and by the way if you're listening to this in audio because I do post this as an audio you can go to cis259 cis259.jsgagnon.com cis259.jsgagnon.com to go check out the full video and the blog post on this all right so let's just go to the screen here so on Facebook right if you look at Facebook you're going to see all this you know ads and whatever now if I go to my pages and I show you let's uh, actually I have a link right up here so if I go up to here I go to here this one because if I look at the videos these videos that I post every day right uh the numbers aren't super exciting right they're not super exciting but it doesn't mean that nobody is watching it doesn't mean that nobody's paying attention as you look at these numbers here which coming up here you see that I got 42 360 second views 41 engagements 35 71 51 74 55 31 38 43 so I'm getting like between 30 and say 25 to 50 views per video now that's that's not a huge number obviously but it's still pretty good now if we look at for example uh let's go I was looking something up here for let's go to my TikTok on TikTok um on TikTok I post I just post little like story videos if you will and if I I'm not logged in okay let me log in here using a Facebook is what I always use for TikTok oh no my password what's my password I gotta look up my password I haven't logged in on this computer in a long time so let me just go look up my password in my password default Facebook login oh yeah it's some weird looking password let's do this well let's hope this is good it's supposed to be the right it's supposed to be saved there we go okay okay so 
Um, let's do that right here. Okay, if I go to my account over here, oh yeah, that's nice. <laughs> if I go to my account, uh, you can see my views over here: two twenty-three, one sixty-five, two thirty-seven, two three six of this. You see how funny it is? That's a video, and that's one of the things that they say about TikTok: is you got to be careful. Don't post kids' videos because that doesn't get shared as much. And as you can see, even though that's not really a kid, that's actually me with a Snapchat filter, right? They only showed it to six, only six people saw it. And that's because it's not being shown to people in their newsfeed, right? So, but see, 179, 185, 194, 165. So, I mean, that's, that's pretty good considering that I get only like 40 views on Facebook, right? Now, what else can I show you? Let's say I show you um, Google. Oh, I bet you I'm going to have to log in on Google Analytics. Analytics. I don't know if that's uh, how do I google analytics uh, I'm not sure I have that set up everywhere on all my stuff but uh sorry about the the camera I should probably try to reverse it or something right because that's kind of unless well yeah let's see what happens can I log into this I want to see if I can do that uh this is my active users click eCourse uh, high average session duration oh that's nice uh, okay well anyways if I look at this um, you can see okay so I've got a whole bunch of websites right I've got uh, course on uh, my course income secrets stuff um, see 114 3230 so 2.1k visitors it's not like obviously that's not in millions but it's still pretty good um, and if we look at uh, what else what do I have in there I don't even know how to read most of this stuff right but my point is that if you keep track of stuff you're going to see that there is activity going on that people are seeing and even though your numbers aren't super high especially in the beginning you're not going to have super high numbers you're going to see that the the that there is there is stuff going on um, this is pages with pages is there a place where because I, I have different sites right I have snap exec I have even a crypto site that I set up a, lot, a while ago um, so 800 sessions bounce rate 84 so the bounce rate is I think so I think that the bounce rate is when somebody visits your site and then doesn't visit another page and just you know basically disappears right and the thing is that the 84 percent I don't know that's I guess that is high I, I don't know how to read these numbers either right but but um, you know if we look back at the numbers of the in in the presidential election right you can see that some of these are the like can you really see no it's pretty small let's zoom in a bit let's zoom in so you get a better view better yeah, okay so when you see these numbers right you can see 52 percent 65 percent for trump uh, 56 for trump here 63 for trump or 56 for uh, bidden 60 for bidden and then these ones aren't yet I don't know what I don't even know what these things mean right these I guess they're not yet filled in 89 percent of votes reported um, and then over here we look at this we got 49 and 48 they're very close 86 percent maybe that's what it is but yeah anyways you can see that the numbers numbers are you know one thing and the total up here 214 for Trump on this side 253 for Biden on this side but when you look at the the colors here it looks like there's a whole lot more red right so Trump than there is Biden right even though it's showing that Biden is winning according to this I don't know like I said I don't really know how, to, how that reads but it's the same thing as when you're looking at your own analytics when you look at these numbers don't think that because your numbers aren't high that it doesn't mean and and I'm not implying here that because because uh, Trump's numbers are lower uh, that you should assume that he's winning or not winning or whatever that's not my point my point is that <clears throat> when you look at your own numbers you might not think that you're getting any kind of traction but just remember that the traction is still happening people are still seeing you people are still seeing your stuff people are still you know uh, following you uh, becoming fans and all that so it does it 
sure you got to be asking people to follow you, you got to be asking people to subscribe to your channel like say if I go to my to YouTube uh can I see uh well yeah see so YouTube is the same thing look at that four views three views three views six views no views three views uh you know if I look at things that have been there for a while five three if I sort by most popular I think that shows me the number of views right so I mean this one here had 20,000 views wow <laughs> I don't I didn't even know that that's just a, a short little video I did on how to do a live but that has that's changed now but I probably should do another one then this one here was actually one that I actually po uh, promoted I think but uh, this one here I didn't I didn't promote it looked 2.6k views 1.2k views tutorial how to in automate use Instagram to automate Pinterest and then I had this Evo wireless thing and then this was a fire and snow removal and then uh, yeah so then and anyways and then there's the, the other 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 posts right this one here good sex see I had a sex in the word right so the, obviously that that attracts attention right um, and then 4750 right so I mean that's the thing so you might not get a whole lot but you know one of the one of these days you're going to post something that's going to get thousands of views like this 2.6k views 1.2k 20k views right here right and I I should probably be creating these little tips and these little videos too because they they obviously they kind of work right uh if I go to LinkedIn I don't know LinkedIn you can kind of see who viewed your profile who viewed your article can you see um, metrics on other stuff let me see so this is the it just says one like two views this one says two views this one says four views two views uh and on on the desktop you can't actually see the stories right but I mean if I look at the stories uh you can see them on Facebook I guess but I don't know if you can see can you see on Facebook let's go see here if I go back to the my Facebook and I load up the um I wonder if there's a way to flip this camera around can I do that oh but I don't want to because the text behind me is right anyways okay um okay so if I go to for example yeah so stories are here if I click on this story I'm going to see the story but do I see oh yeah okay so let's turn the volume off okay I'm going to pause it okay so like this story here right got 24 viewers right I got 24 people and it's not millions but it's still pretty good these people here are seeing my stuff right I mean um and if I go to the next one it's 16 then the next one is 12 so as you can see it goes down right that's just kind of how it is right people uh do not and you know 11 here right so I mean that's the thing so you get views on all the content you create and that's kind of why I promote or disc or or encourage omnipresence I encourage syndication syndication means taking one piece of content sharing it everywhere so for me I record these videos right these videos every day the course income secrets episodes and I post them everywhere if I look at other let's look at other things let me see if I can find um let me see if I can find for example uh, my iTunes iTunes how do I, I don't know that's going to be my that's going to be my iTunes uh, site but I don't think you can see the views right can you no you can't see it there uh, but um, let's see so how to see iTunes metrics so uh, uh, app analytics app store connect measuring app performance understand the analytics yeah iTunes is a, is a different beast but if I look at something for example um Stitcher 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 I've got my podcast on there too and <coughs> if I look at my courses my course over here these are uh, tests I did I should probably get rid of them but it says listening time 14 minutes uh I had uh, what is this 29 minutes on Sunday the 25th that's interesting and the downloads don't show up here or nobody's downloaded but what about my audience my audience 50% uh, iOS web app so really just people uh 
on there. And, and you know, I mean, anything you do, any, anything you, you post anywhere is going to get some traction, right? And you never know when the big, when your big break is going to come. So you got to keep creating content. You got to keep posting. You got to keep creating the assets. You got to keep, you know, you just got to keep going. Just don't, don't worry about the numbers, right? The numbers are one tiny little part of everything. So if I go in here and I go to um, Google, uh, Google, um, tag manager. So this is one thing that you're going to want to do, right? So you're going to want to have a Google tag man manager. Uh, so in Google tag, so, okay, so keeping track of who saw what is one of the most important things, right? So your Google tag is basically so you can create an account when you're starting out and then you create a tag right so the tag so then you put that tag on your website so for me for example I've got uh, my blog let's do I have my blog open here no I don't <coughs> so I got my blog uh, no say okay so on my blog on my blog if I go to the uh, WordPress dashboard and I go into my where is it under settings settings headers and footers okay so on my blog I've got these all these headers over here right so all these headers like if you look through here I have Google Analytics object right here I have uh, a Weber a Weber right here I've got uh which one is this this is a facebook one so this is the facebook pixel and then there's the linkedin linkedin partner id right so i got all that in there so that means that if i go to linkedin uh actually let's let's go look that up so linkedin linkedin uh insight insight ght insight metrics so I'm not sure where that goes but I know I added it so LinkedIn reporting LinkedIn analytics um so now that I'm on here this is just to the help so updates updates um followers page admin analytics module so there's the analytics for a page but that's not what I'm looking for I'm looking for my insights tag and post uh, that's not what I want let's go back to here and look at this analytics module maybe is that what it is yeah you need video no that's not it that's still just the the page admin I want to see the insight tag insight I think that's for ads though they might be just for ads removing mention visibility no so anyways I don't know uh I don't know where that is but it's it, I remember setting it up and I got that tag from and I added it to my header over here so it's LinkedIn and the other thing I you can do too is in inside of Google tag manager you can actually add an insight tag, you can add a Pinterest tag, you can add a Facebook pixel, you can add all these different tags right inside of Insight uh, Manager and then you just have to add the one tag, the insight tag for Google and then it'll do all the tagging of the other stuff, right? So if I can remember how to go in here, manage workspace, default workspace, just this tag here, live version, so this is a tag, in here I've got see I've got the LinkedIn insight in here and I didn't do anything else in here I didn't add anything else but if I where is it LinkedIn version changes activity history so I think I have to go back into here and I have to edit the latest version learn more workspace tags So new tag. Okay, I'm going to add a new tag. Choose tag type. So the tag type would be, for example, 
look at that there's a whole bunch of tags you can add right linkedin insight uh that's why i added it because it was there pinterest tag right i can actually add my pinterest tag in there a core pixel um, <coughs> and then there's a custom one which i think is what you'd use for custom html where you could use that for pretty much anything you want to tag something on your own website like me i've got my click eCourse site that i can actually create a tag for it um, which i haven't done but i could custom image as well right um, so if I, I can add whatever I want in the insight tag so that whenever the insight tag is fired, all these other uh, tags are fired automatically, right? So it keeps track of visitors uh, for Pinterest, or for example, or for LinkedIn or for Facebook ads, all these things. You can keep track and follow people around and that kind of stuff, right? And like I said, no matter how many numbers, how high your numbers are, how low your numbers are, you still want to be doing this. You want to be tracking everything, right? Um, Google Analytics, the Google Ads, right? There's Google Ads, obviously. I don't know what this A-B tasty thing, Adometry, Ad Roll, all these things are all sorts of... Whoops, I didn't want to do that. All these things are all business, all online services that exist out there that allow you to have tags, right? Um, so I don't know how you can... how I could, for example, get... Um, my click equals on there but anyways google flights um media plex you know bing ads that's microsoft bing ads right there's so much stuff out there that it's crazy right person pinterest tag so if i choose a pinterest tag for example i'm going to go get the pinterest id i can go over to my pinterest account let's go to my pinterest Pinterest so you can actually do that yourself right you go to Pinterest you create a business account you got to have a business account once you have a business um, hub you can go and uh, is that under audiences mm, overview I don't even know where that is where is my Pinterest tag mm, these are my ads that I got that's not what I want bulk conversion audiences hmm and only all maybe under analytics ah there you go In, oh hmm, I'm not sure let's take a look at that my Pinterest users uh, <laughs> this is my Pinterest audience right um, as you can see on Pinterest I have quite a like let's actually let's show you here on Pinterest <laughs> If I go to my uh, boards, uh, I don't have, you see, I don't have a huge, I don't know what happened. I think a couple uh, week ago, I tried to post some ads on some of the videos that were getting lots of views and they were all rejected and they've been approved since, but and ever since they rejected my ads, all my views are super low now. They're instead of being in the 200 and 300 views, like see this one was 273, 416, um, 1K, 2K, 264, 1.2K, 20, well 1.3K, right? 1.4K. Instead of being that, now my my views are like in the in the you know single double digit, right? One four five two three so i'm not sure what that means does it mean that you got to be careful maybe you shouldn't be creating ads on pinterest uh, i don't know like a, it's hard to say right but um but yeah so that's the numbers i i've got four thousand followers forty five thousand monthly viewers that's going down because of that it used to be a bit higher than that uh but anyways if i can where can i find business business hub where can I find the Pinterest tag? Where's the Pinterest tag? These are my pins. Is it under here? Uh, settings? No. Um, this is so, it's so weird how not easy and not obvious it is to find this stuff, right? And that's one of the things that obviously if you're looking for anything you can just google it right i mean where can i find where can i find pinterest tag right so track conversion with pinterest tags 
let's just look at that where is the Pinterest tag the Pinterest tag so this guide track conversion with the so page visit view traffic enhanced match okay where do I find it <laughs> um, learn how to set up your tag with this guide okay let's just go to that guide um, choose how to install the tag uh, act ar archive install the base code see how to install the base code okay uh, Pinterest business account click the ads install the tag okay well, that sounds simple enough so ads what was it conversions okay conversions right here ah it's under conversions <laughs> under conversions and then there's tag manager see right here so there's my tag obviously you don't want to use my tag but um, you can just install it afterwards you just say uh, where is it why is it so complicated add code user choose below so install click install the tag where's there's no install the tag can you see install the tag tag events upload maybe I have to click it first no there's no install the anyways this is the Pinterest tag if I go for example inside of Google uh, over here I just put it right there right oh I didn't copy it sorry I just put it there right my email my hashed email what would that be optional but required for enhancement users email address stripped white space lowercase than hashed or raw email address can also be used in this case we will hash the email for you in the browser hmm. so but still what is that is that supposed to be my email address base code only no event page visit oh okay hmm. so enable automatic enhance match so the email that's the thing is I'm not really sure because the, uh, the Pinterest tag the way it works is that if you're on a site and you're logged into that site right um you can include the email of the person that's logged in like for me on click eCourse for example somebody's on the site you're on the site you're logged in uh the Pinterest tag I include your hashed email or whatever right it's a secure kind of looking it's not the real email it's a hashed email so that Pinterest can can kind of map you specifically you with with uh, the site right but um so I'm not sure why it's asking that but anyway I'll just save that like this save the tag save it and then I'm just gonna then I then I can add that to my google uh, tags right so that's that's um, one of the things you can do is using google tags of course there's the there's the uh facebook pixel the famous facebook pixel let's just say where can I find it because that's changed as well can I find the facebook pixel set up your pixel create and install Facebook pixel let's just go here go to the events manager in your ad so get bring back find you how to get started where's why is it why is this so I thought that 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 <laughs> the, the the page here is showing it showed me exactly how to do it right okay so whoops no no don't don't click on anything okay uh, go to events managing Facebook ads manager account okay so if I go to my Facebook ads so that's business business.facebook.com I don't want any of that just like this business.facebook.com and I'm just going to go to my my main business and then in here I'm going to go to my events manager under events manager is where you're going to find the pixel code so I already have mine so I'm not going to create another one but um my pixel I got pixel 2 right here I got John Serge Gagnon's pixel why is there a little red mark on it what does that mean 
I don't know. I don't know why there's a little red mark. It doesn't say anything. Diagnostics. I'll make this here. Your pixel started sending events from these domains. Simple this leverage challenge .com. Really? Oh. Well, that's weird. Huh. In the last three days. Previously detected. That's interesting. It doesn't really bother me because that's my my lead system pro is a platform I'm part of, but I'm wondering why they're why they're showing my pixel in their in their stuff. But uh, yeah, so you see the page views eight eight thousand nine leads nine four complete registration three contact no purchase because I haven't set that up, but um, but that's where you get your pixel, and then you can just install. Where is it? Settings. This is your pixel ID right here, right? You get your pixel ID right there, and and then you can you can add that to you know um, if, if I wanted to add that to um, where's the install event setup? Mm, I can't. Um, I don't. But anyways, is it under create? No. Create an ad, custom audience, look alike. That's just uh, for ads. I don't know what those are. They must have been tests I did. The different pixel IDs. Oh, God, I did different pixels. I didn't even know I did that. Imagine all this stuff. But anyways, if we go back to numbers, numbers, do numbers matter in your overall decision? Yes, of course they do. Numbers will affect how you look at things, how you decide things, how you make the, you know, how you, what you choose to do, what you choose not to do, and it'll show, you know, it'll, but the thing is that you can't just let numbers decide. You gotta be, you know, realize that people still see your stuff. People will still see what you're doing. They're gonna follow you. They're gonna like your stuff. They're gonna connect with you they're going to share your stuff they're going to react they're going to comment everything it's all happening because your numbers are not the ultimate truth it's just keep creating content keep posting keep going keep doing it and you'll see you'll get results just don't give up be consistent and persistent all right hopefully you enjoyed and we'll see you in the next episode this has been Course Income Secrets, the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.